My name is Bradley Veerling and I'm an EGS 301. Today is May the 2nd, 2023. And today we're gonna to talk about electric trucks in the transportation industry. Now the transportation industry is one that uh, that I find very intriguing and and basically it's it's the industry that moves our goods and services from one point to another. Uh, basically anything that we consume uh, comes from trucks, um, our electric, every, basically everything that we do um, is done through the transportation industry. Uh, so what we're going to look at today is uh, specifically electric trucks in that transportation industry. Now there are other uh, renewable energy resources such such as natural gas and liquid natural gas, which we do see uh, quite often in the fleet uh, nowadays. Uh, for this presentation, we're gonna focus specifically on that electric power. The question is, uh, which has been asked by many, are electric powered trucks a viable option to replace diesel powered trucks in the transportation industry? And one thing that I find interesting with this is diesel power has been around for a long time. And although diesel powered trucks account for 4% of the fleet emission um, across the United States or, or the globe actually, uh, when we look at the, uh, the pollutants, it, it accounts for 60%. So 4% trucks on the road, 60% of the pollutants uh, come from those trucks. Um, so the topics that we're gonna discuss in this uh, presentation, we're gonna talk about the trucks themselves, uh, the hauling capacity, the battery, life uh, charging stations and then we're going to look at the viability whether it's a good option for businesses and uh, then we'll, we'll conclude uh, we'll conclude with the analysis uh, so let's look at electric trucks well electric trucks basically are just that they are electric powered uh, vehicles that uh, that that are going to move our goods and services. Uh, one of the key, one of the benefits, rather, is that there's little to no emissions from operation. Uh, they're much cheaper to operate. Electric's a lot cheaper than uh, diesel fuel, um, and these electric trucks are going to continuously uh, meet the changing government regulations. Uh, we just seen that California uh, just implemented a no diesel uh, sale ban in California for the year of 2030. Six. Uh, so this uh, this industry is going to have to have another option for moving those goods and services. Uh, another benefit is that it's going to combat the climate change um, and the global warming. They're safer to operate uh, with most uh, with the most up to date technology, and they have a longer asset retention. Um, some of the downfalls to these electric trucks is there's not many charging locations. You can't drive up 75 and pull off and charge your big rig. Uh, material cost has increased, uh, which has caused a, a shortage in production. Therefore, uh, when there's a shortage, we uh, we obviously know that the price goes up, so there's a higher initial cost. Um, and then there's the uncertainty of the hauling capacity. While these trucks are rated to pull 80,000 pounds, um, we've yet to see that. Um, so um, where we get that uh, with that hauling capacity, that's where that uncertainty kind of falls in. And they have a lower range than most diesel powered trucks. Um, most electric motors right now are ranging uh, from 300 to 500 miles. Um, we know that diesel motors can obviously travel a lot longer than that. They have dual tanks, uh, but you can only carry so much uh, battery capacity. Some additional information on charging stations. Um, many charging uh, stations are already at local fleet uh, locations. Uh, for example, Amazon has a lot of charging locations for their delivery trucks. Um, currently, there are very few charging um, stations along the interstate highways. So there's really no area uh, for trucks to pull off and charge their vehicles. Uh, however, cargo ports where a lot of our uh, goods and services are coming from, um, they are implementing those charging locations for trucks. Uh, when we look at charging time, 70% charge typically takes about 30 minutes on an extremely fast uh, charger, which they call superchargers. Uh, full charging time, 
varies depending on the battery capacity, but most can be done within an hour. Um, this is uh, a good option for truck drivers because typically uh, you're required to take a 30 minute mandatory lunch break, which could get you 70% charge um, while you're eating your lunch. Um, and some other information, sources have shown that it will impact local power grids tremendously um, in the charging of the transportation uh, fleet. Uh, what that means is, is that it's going to take a lot of energy to charge those trucks. Um, so some power grids may not be able to handle that. Um, and that there's, like I mentioned before, there's other sources of clean burning fuels such as CNG and uh, liquid natural gas. Um, so the viability, um, it's great for local businesses. Um, they can install charging locations at their, uh, at their site. Um, it's an improved return on investment because these vehicles do last a lot longer. Um, there's better fuel mileage equivalents um, to these electric vehicles. Um, and then obviously you get your improved safety uh, equipment and your onboard technology. Um, we can see this with uh, kind of now with the Tesla and some of their, some of their accident avoidance um, mechanisms. Challenges for long haul, um, there's not many charging locations, there's limited mileage restrictions on a single charge, um, and the uncertainty of the technology. Um, when you're looking at local business, it's much easier for you to get your equipment back home than it is, say, if you were running out of California and you were in New York City. Um, so that is the viability, as we can see that, you know, it's a great option for, um, for local hauls, uh, but if you're hauling from one coast to the other, there's a lot of uncertainty in these electric vehicles and the technology just quite isn't there yet. Um, so the analysis, electric trucks in the transportation industry are a viable option for those businesses operating on that local basis um, who wish uh, to invest in this technology and they're going to get that increase on their return investment um you know when we look at that long haul maybe not quite so much so the complex problem that we had um are electric trucks a viable um option in the transportation industry and although the question um, is kind of double-sided depending on which side you are we would like to say that yes it is especially for the local haul businesses um, that return home every day I want to thank you guys for listening to my uh, presentation. Once again, my name is Bradley Veerling. This is EGS301. Uh, if you have any questions, just make sure to leave me a comment or shoot me an email. Thank you very much for your time.